Hello dear friends, today I would like to paint a branch with beautiful leaves. So I'll start quickly outlining my sketch where the leaves will be and mark every leaf but without much of detailing so i'm not gonna paint i mean i'm not gonna draw with the pencil every single um, vein that you might see on the leaf but i'll just show where it will be and uh, kind of define the shape of it Maybe some leaves are going to disappear <laughs> and move to another page. Remember that the branch is not just one stroke, but it has some volume, so it should be a bit thick. And here will be another branch. And I think this will be enough. Now, the technique I'm going to use to paint those leaves will be wet on wet. And it's going to be very easy because I will work in small um, sections, so to speak. So I'll put water on one leaf and then I'll introduce paint and I'll work leaf by leaf so there's no rush. So I take clean water put it into the area of my leaf and then start coloring introducing orange color first and it will slowly move into red Somewhere in the bottom, I'll add brown. I use raw sienna, or burnt sienna in my case. Uh, raw sienna is a light, light brown and burnt sienna is more uh, bright and vibrant. Now I'd like to mix the darker tone of brown by adding blue into my brown and put it here in the bottom of the leaf and just make it mix. And how about we add a bit of green and just let it go. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle, there will be a vein this way and this way. We can move to the next leaf and I will switch to a different brush. I will use synthetic brush. It has more control over the water and everything that I do. I'll take red, I use cadmium red, add a bit of uh, brown into it to make it more interesting, more autumn y. <laughs> and 
introduce it on the leaf. If we take red and we add some green, we will make red darker because red and green are complementary colors. They're opposite each other on the color wheel and they are able to make each other darker. And we're gonna use this to our advantage. This is the harmonious way to make colors lighter or darker. Oh, you can't make them lighter. <laughs> to make colors darker, uh, instead of using black. Now I do the same, but I started with yellow and I added green as I go. In the bottom I can even make it a bit darker using the same trick, mixing red and green. And moving on to the next leaf. Clean water first. And I'll start with yellow. And I'll add some red. Okay, the next leaf I will work on will be this one because I don't want to make uh, this color bleed down here if I would work on this leaf. So you should work on leaves that are not touching each other to avoid colors bleeding into each other. I add some green. You can even drop some orange to make this leaf more interesting. And again, if I take green and add some red into it, a little bit, not too much my green will become much darker. Then I can move to the next leaf. I'll start with yellow again, but this time I'll add red. With a bit darker tone, just like I told you before, I'll add a little bit of color here. And move to the next leaf.
This one I'll start with orange. And I'll add some red, but not everywhere, selectively. This leaf is touching this one, so for a while I will ignore it <laughs> and move to the, the leaf that's further away. Water is like your natural guide. Whenever you put it, wherever you put it, this is where the paint is gonna go. So if you cover too much space with water, the paint is gonna travel that, that way into that place. And if there is not enough water, the paint will stop right where water stops. That's a very interesting feature and I really love using it when I'm working with watercolor. And the last leaf over here. It's going to be yellow with bits of green. Maybe even brown. Here we go. Now I need to paint the stem, the branch where all those leaves are sitting on. So just with the tip of my brush, carefully, I use the same brown color I did before, my burnt sienna. You can use uh, Van Dyke if you want, or um, raw sienna, but maybe you would want to make it a bit darker, so it's not too light. And with the same brown color, you can add the veins on your leaf, and maybe all of your leaves. <laughs> but try to make your strokes very thin and not too uh, not too many you don't want to make your painting too heavy so add a couple of uh, strokes here and there on one leaf and move on to the next one
when you're uh, dropping your stems, not stems, but uh, veins, uh, you want to make sure that your leaf is completely dry. If it's not dry yet, your strokes will blend and bleed in different directions. So unless you want this effect, uh, you need to wait so that your leaf is fully dry. But in my case, I think I'll just let it be and leave it as is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.